For some things in sailing, like navigation for example, it's essential to know the traditional methods like reading a chart properly, calculating tides and things like that. But technology can uh, make some things a lot easier, uh, especially as they allow you to time to concentrate on other things, uh, like for example keeping a good watch. And for some things, like the weather, we think that technology has really surpassed traditional marine ways. For example, uh, who would rely on a barometer readings when you're actually coastal sailing and you have access to excellent marine forecasts, um, potentially like 10 at the same time. So we'd like to run through a few of the apps that we use when we're out sailing. One of our favorites is Navali which is a new app that allows people to review and exchange information on anchorages and marinas as well as mooring boards. Uh, as we anchor out most of the time, it's super great for us to get up-to-date information on where an area has become filled with mooring boards or whether is, uh, this, the bottom isn't very good for anchoring, etc. And as well, it's easy to find out prices of marinas and mooring boards, um, which is um, always helpful because uh, the websites are often very um, confusing. Because the reviews on Navali are date stamped, it's very useful for cross-referencing uh, with pilot books or almanacs, which may be out of date by the time you're cruising those grounds. Uh, you can also book uh, marinas and mooring balls directly through the app, uh, but the whole app is free and you can use it to look up information on anything completely free. Next one is the Navionics web app. Uh, Navionics have a paid for version, but if you're coastal cruising and you have access to the internet most of the time, then their free web app is really, really useful to cross check with your main charts. Uh, it also has user information added, so you can get people's opinions on an anchorage and you can check depths and things like that. Although there is uh, typically fewer comments than on Navali, uh, the Navionics user comments are really useful. Next up is Google Maps. Don't get us wrong, we'd never uh, plan a passage or check the depth of a place using Google Maps, but we think that um, you need to make use of all the information available to you. Uh, if you have a chart, use the chart. But at the same time, you can use that chart, Navionics charts, Google Maps and a pilot book all together combined to create a very, very clear picture of that place. There are times when Google Maps is incredibly useful. For example, here in the Balearic Islands, we use it to find patches of sand to anchor in rather than anchoring in Posidonia seaweed, which is forbidden to anchor in. Uh, so when we approach an anchorage, we will use Google Maps uh, images as a guide as to where the sand will be. And then of course, we'll have a visual check um, in the place as well. We also use WeTap because we uh, cruise on a budget and avoid marinas. We need to find water uh, at least once a month. Uh, so WeTap is a great resource because it tells you the locations of public fountains. So you can fill up your jerry cans there for free. We have never dragged anchor, but in uh, harsh conditions, we will use a um, anchor dragging app. So our favorite one is Drag Queen. There's a uh, different um, anchor alarm apps to choose from but this one is um, the one that we use most and basically you can set up an alarm um, based on a distance from your anchor position so that it will go off if your boat is outside of that radius. Then we use uh, weather forecasting apps. Uh, we use two, Predict Wind, uh, which uh, has two free forecasts, so two points um, that you can choose from and at all times you'll have a free forecast for two total. Predict Win is the go-to for most sailors we're, uh, we've met. Uh, the best thing about it is that it displays multiple forecasts and uh, Predict Win take the relevant forecast and modify it for accuracy uh, for the marine weather. If the forecasts are aligned on Predict Win then uh, you can see that it's likely to be fairly accurate. Uh, whilst if they um, vary uh, vastly, then it's good indication that the weather is kind of unpredictable, so you might not get what you're expecting. We also use Windy, uh, which is uh, our, probably our favourite weather app. Uh, we found it to be very, very accurate, especially when you're near mountainous areas that affect the wind. 
the uh, map visualization is great and it also has a wave forecast uh, which is very very useful um, to figure out what sort of swell there is. Uh, you can view the information either on a table or a, on a map uh, which is very very useful if you're traveling across an area and you want to see the wind change over time rather than having to look at the forecast in different locations at different times. Unlike Predict Wind, you can uh, put a point anywhere on the wind map and get a forecast for that exact spot. And it is useful for getting a forecast between two islands, for example, which Predict Wind won't always um, be able to do in a table format. For more tips on cruising, check out our other videos on the Wetsuit Outlet YouTube channel and have a look at the Wetsuit Outlet's online shop for super great sailing gear from clothing to handheld VHF radios.